Hey guys, it's Robin and welcome to the Science of Self-Care. Today we're going to be talking about placebos and how they should not be dismissed even when we're taking a scientific approach to self-care. So I'm sure many of you are already aware of what the placebo effect is, but just to review, the placebo effect is a positive effect produced by a drug or substance that is given to a patient but is actually inactive. So it's not the actual substance that is producing this positive effect, but more a patient's belief system in that treatment's efficacy. What's perhaps even more interesting than our classic understanding of the placebo effect is that placebos are effective even when patients are told that they're placebos. So this is referred to as an open label placebo or a placebo without deception. And so even when patients are told essentially, this is a sugar pill, this is not medication, the act of taking those pills, um, especially in a clinical setting, has shown significant improvements in those patients' symptoms. Specifically, a professor at Harvard looked at the alleviation of IBS using open-label placebos. Those that were given a placebo and told that it was a placebo, they still saw a reduction in their IBS symptoms as compared to a group that was given no placebo. It's absolutely fascinating how powerful our mind and body response is to actions and I think this is really where self-care comes in because even though not all the things I discuss on this channel may be rigorously studied in a laboratory or clinical setting, there's still something to be said about the action of taking in a substance, the action of taking care of yourself, and that in itself can already set up our minds and our bodies for a very positive response to those actions. So one of my favorite sort of self-care rituals that isn't per se rigorously backed by science or clinical trials is making my own homemade face masks. And though the ingredients of my face masks are often in a laboratory shown to be, for example, anti-inflammatory, the specifics of my homemade face masks are not necessarily backed by science. It's unclear how deeply the masks penetrate my skin and how it's interacting with my cells. But this sheer ritual of making myself a face mask and feeling that it is doing something positive for my skin and for my body is in itself already quite therapeutic. So today I'm gonna... Ooh! So today I'm gonna give myself a little face mask as I film the rest of this video just because I think it's, it's so fitting. So let's see if I can do this. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, and just to warn you, this is an oat flower and spirulina face mask, so it is quite green. But that's what makes it fun, right? The crazier, the better. Ready? Oh, oh it smells so good, too. <laughs> mm. It smells so good. Oh. The placebo effect, I already feel it kicking in. Calm skin, calm body, calm mind. <laughs> so in honor of not taking life too seriously, I'm gonna sit here with this uh, beautiful face mask on for the rest of the video. So the placebo effect has already long been understood to be very real, but uh, we're still working out exactly what happens in our bodies and our minds that that can actually really relieve physiological symptoms. Several studies have demonstrated that placebos can actually elicit real physiological responses in the body and the release of endogenous opioids and non-opioids in humans, which means that People taking placebos can have real pain relieving effects and it's not even an entirely mental thing, it's a physiological relief as well through the release of certain chemicals in our brain and hormones. So one study that wanted to investigate why open label placebos might work actually gave patients with allergic rhinitis placebos or no placebos and told those with the placebos that it was in fact a placebo. They then further divided the placebo group in two and told half of those taking an open label placebo um, about all the benefits of placebos and I, I believe for about two weeks they were really 
primed with all of the positive beneficial effects of placebos and so they wanted to see if there was a difference between those taking an open label placebo in a very positive uh, informative environment and those just taking an open label placebo. Interestingly, both open label placebo groups saw a significant reduction in their allergic rhinitis symptoms, equally so, and the group that was positively informed about the power of placebos only really saw an increase in subjective well-being, but the actual symptoms of their condition were not significantly better. So this is telling us that it's not just sort of this positive mindset that placebos might put us in, but it's actually the action of taking a placebo. It's the action itself that showed an alleviation of allergic rhinitis symptoms. I really believe that this is something that is so deeply connected to self-care that even if we are doing things in our lives that are not always completely backed by rigorous science, uh, as long as they are not burdensome on our body, our budget, or our planet, then we should continue to do these things that make us feel like we're taking positive actions towards a healthy lifestyle. In the book The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg, he talks about keystone habits, and these are just small actions that are done consistently that actually have a ripple effect and change a myriad of other actions and habits in our lives. And I think this is also another thing that is relevant to self-care, is that just doing one thing for ourselves, even if it is not entirely backed by science, can create an entire ripple effect in how we approach caring for our body and our mind and our diet and our skin and all the aspects of health and well-being. I do think that it's important to recognize that our actions and our mindsets are equally as important as the science behind those actions and mindsets and just caring for ourselves in and of itself is already something really powerful that can lead us to a holistically healthy life and body. <laughs> So I'm now gonna go wash this um, <laughs> placebo mask off my face, uh, but I already feel whew, like my skin is radiating from within. <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, enjoy your self-care practices, placebo or non-placebo, and perpetuating that mindset will have a ripple effect in the rest of your life. You'll want to take care of your body and mind, and that is one of the healthiest mindsets of all. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye guys.